In the IronCAD Mechanical Tools catalog we have a tool, Proactive Manager. I will drag this tool, drop it here in the background, and uh, we are presented with this dialog. Here if I click the scene we have the information about the scene, where the engine is stored on the hard drive and when it was created. And we have three tabs here, Scene and Configurations. There are two configurations in the scene, we have Default and Exploded View and Exploded View is now active. Then we have the Search tab. Here we can search parts in the scene and the parts will, will appear in this search window. So click the Scene tab and also Scene Browser here. And I will also expand the engine. We see that uh, these parts that we see here in the Scene Browser is the same as we see in this, the Scene Browser in the scene. So if I click the Subassembly engine we have some information about uh, the, the subassembly here, part number, description, and also username. And we also have the, uh, the tab Bill of Materials. Then we have also the Element tab. It explains what, uh, what size the subassembly has and also where it's positioned in the scene. And if I click the Calculate button, I will also have the, the weight and also the, the volume. So I go back to the Materials tab. Then I click the Crankcase and uh, we have this information about the crankcase, part number, description, a username and also material. If the material is not set, I can click this row and click the drop down menu and from this list I can pick the, the material I want to use. And uh, we have also a linked element tab. It's because uh, the crankcase as well as uh, the cylinder, they are linked. We can see that because this icon tells us that uh, these two are linked and stored on the hard drive. And we can see that also here in the scene browser. So uh, this tab, it tells us where it's stored on the hard drive and when it was created. Then we have some more information to add to the part if we want to. We have custom data. Here I can type in, for instance, suppliers or price. I just click the row and I can type in suppliers or supplier. But I can also click this button, the drop down menu, and pick the heading I want to use. And I can also add more headings by clicking new and type in the heading I want here. Then I can click save and pick the headings or the heading I want. For instance, in this case I want a supplier and perhaps I have created a list of suppliers but I can choose one or I can add more names for, of suppliers here in this list and click save to save them and then I can pick them from this list and uh, have that information. I can also add price for instance like so and can also type in the price or if I have a list or will create a list I can click new and type in some figures for the price like so and save and then I can pick it from the list here and so that I have the information about the, the part. Now when I have added this information it is uh, saved or stored in this uh, part, the crankcase. So if I close the dialog and right click the selected crankcase and go to Prod Properties and Custom, we see that we have this information here. So uh, I can use uh, the information in a drawing for instance. So I will go back to Proactive Manager, like so. If I click the cylinder I will see that uh, there is no information in description. And it's important that there are information in description because when I want to create a drawing, uh, the information here in description will be written in the bill of materials. So I have, must have some information here. So I can type in the name cylinder here if I want, but I can also click this button D. It's, it says set current description using username. So if I click the button, it will copy the username and paste it here in description. So in that way I can click each part in the scene browser to see 
do I have the necessary information for each part? So there are and there are a couple of other parts that needs information. So by using Proactive Manager I can check that uh, each part in the scene has uh, the necessary information before I use it, for instance, uh, create a drawing of it. In the next video I will show you how to use Proactive Manager to check that we have the necessary information in the bill of materials and also how to create your own bill of materials.